Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an elephant. I come over to the left hand side, I take one finger and underneath I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, another curve line down, out, and up. Right where I stop I draw a slightly curved line in, little curve line out, curve line up, keep going, keep going, and leave that floating. Okay? I come back inside and I put a little curve line, then I put a curve line up, curve line back, connect. I come back over here to where I had that floating line and now I'm going to draw a curve line up and leave that floating. Now I come back to this space right here and I draw a curve line down, curve line up, up, and leave that floating. Okay, this is floating a little too much so I'm just going to close that off. Now I come back to the top and I'm right where my dot was and I'm going to bring that slightly curved line over and I come in a little bit and I draw a curve line out, down, keep going, curve line over, curve line up, it crashes into that curve line, jump over a little bit and draw another curve line in and up. Okay? Come inside this space and we're just going to draw curve line, curve line, connect, little curve line inside. Put one little curve line up on top. Come over to this space right here and we're going to draw little straight lines all the way up. Okay, and now I come back over here on this side of this curve line. Starting right about here, I'm just going to draw a curve line out, down, out, down, and leave it floating. Come back over to this side on the left, and I'm going to draw a little curve line down, little curve line down, straight diagonal out, curve line at the bottom, slightly curve line up, and leave that floating. Come back over here about midpoint, and I'm going to draw a curve line up, straight diagonal down, slightly curve line over, slightly curve line up, and connect. Right over here on the right hand side, I'm just going to draw a little curve line out and then zigzag, 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 connect. Okay? I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw a slightly curve line out, curve line over, connect. Come on this section, I'm going to draw straight diagonal out, slightly curve line in, connect. Come down to the bottom and we're going to draw one, two, three little curved lines. Come to the back, one, two, three curved lines. Come over here, one, two, three curved lines. And over here on the right, one, two, three curved lines. Okay, I don't want my elephant to look like he's floating. So I'm going to just put a little slightly waved line, jump over, put one here in the middle, jump over and put one over here on the right. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color in is my little section right here on my eyeball and make that black so I can see where he's looking. 
Then I'm going to take a brown and I'm just going to lightly loop de loop the top part of my head, a little bit of my trunk. I'm not coloring real dark, I'm just giving a little base coat, kind of following my lines. Just a little bit of brown. Do the back. Bring it on down to his legs. Try not to hit your toenails. We want to keep those white. Then, if you have gray, I color the whole entire thing over the brown with the gray. Okay? And you will do a way better job coloring in than me. Now, these out this elephant is out in the wild, so I'm going to make him. I put that brown in, so he looks a little dusty. That's okay. You can figure out what kind of environment you want to put him in, or her. It's up to you. If you don't have gray, you can color him in with a real light black. Okay? Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my elephant all colored in. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>